Ministry of Agriculture, Food Production, Fisheries, Cooperatives, and Rural Development, through its Extension and Advisory Services Division, presents Tutorial for Perry Urban Home Gardening. Our pets, our children, our garden. They all need tender love and care so that they can grow and blossom into beautiful creatures and become productive. I am Vernet James and this is Tutorials for Perry Urban Home Gardening. And our program today is Tender Love and Care of Your Garden. Reaping a beautiful harvest from your garden could only be guaranteed if you put in the time, the love, and the effort that is required to keep the plants healthy and productive. What you sow is what you will surely reap. Like all of us, plants will not survive without water nutrients and fresh air. Water is needed for the plant to stand strong, to absorb nutrients and to manufacture the food through the process we all know as photosynthesis. Water your garden daily, especially when it is not raining, to keep the soil moist so that the roots can develop to absorb moisture and nutrients that the plants need. The best time to water is early in the morning before the temperatures begin to rise. This gives the plants a good supply of water to face the heat of the day. If watering cannot be done early in the morning, very late in the evening or afternoon is also satisfactory. When watering, ensure that each plant receives its fair share of water. Be careful, do not flood the area as this may create a waterlogging condition which is just as bad for the plants. If your plants are in containers, monitor them frequently to ensure that the soil is sufficiently moist as containers tend to dry up quickly, especially on hot days. One way you can help the soil retain moisture is through mulching. Mulches are loose materials such as dry grass or leaves, wood shavings, or sagasum weed from which the salt has been removed that are used to cover the soil around the plants or to cover the soil in containers leaving only the plants exposed. Sheets of grey or white plastic material could also be used to create a soil cover. Black plastic is not recommended, especially in hot, dry areas. Quite apart from helping the soil to retain moisture, the mulch also helps to suppress weeds from taking over your garden, as well as improving the texture of the soil. It could also keep away certain pests protect plant roots from extreme temperatures and encourage beneficial soil organisms. For small home gardens such as these, we encourage organic mulching which tends to add nutrients to the soil through decomposition. As the decomposition process occurs in the lower layers, fresh mulch should be added to keep the process ongoing. 
In the absence of mulching, weeds will develop rapidly, creating a nuisance for any gardener, competing with your crops for space, nutrients, water, and sunlight. Some weeds also attract certain types of pests that cause further stress on the garden. As soon as they appear, uproot all unwanted weeds to allow your crops to grow freely and beautifully. Just as we do for our pets and our children, we should monitor our plants for any sign of pests and disease and even signs of changes in their growth pattern. Check for curling of leaves, signs of leaves being eaten, and insect eggs on or underneath the leaves. Look out for tiny pests hidden in the new shoots or anywhere on the plants. All these are signs that the plants are being attacked by pests. If you notice any insects or eggs, remove and destroy them immediately. If it appears to be a bigger problem, speak with your agricultural officer straight away as the problem could escalate and ruin your garden. Check also for signs of discoloration of leaves, wilting, slow growth, or any indication that the plant may not be healthy. These may be signs that the plant is developing some type of disease problem. Any sign of a disease spotted should be dealt with immediately as it may spread throughout your garden, destroying your project. Again, speak with your agricultural officer about signs or symptoms of pests, disease and reduction in growth patterns. Your officer may recommend that the plants receive a nutrient boost by applying a bit of fertilizer. A foliar application can be done by dissolving the recommended amount of fertilizer to every gallon of water as you would require. You may choose instead to apply an NPK fertilizer around each plant in a specified amount. Compost or manure could also be used to add nutrients if you choose to go organic. Many plants while growing may require support to stand tall or some kind of support to climb onto. That support should be provided for the plants through a process known as staking or trellising. Staking can be done using sticks driven into the ground adjacent to the plant or by using a bit of twine suspended from a support above. If you choose to use sticks, be careful to avoid damaging the plant roots when driving in the sticks. A piece of twine should then be used to tie the plant onto the stake. Be sure to tie loosely to avoid the plant getting damaged as the growing period progresses. Also avoid using yellow twine since these have the tendency to attract insect pests. is also very essential in caring for your garden. It entails removing unwanted shoots, dried leaves, dead branches, and controlling the growth of the plants. Pruning a 
allows you to harvest crops easily and to conduct all other husbandry practices with ease. The tender loving care of your garden is not complete if your soil is not properly tilled. Tillage allows air and water to move freely through the soil for a healthy garden. Mold cautiously around each plant, but be careful to avoid damage in the root system. Wow, this is a beautiful garden. So remember, the tender loving care of your garden requires watering the garden daily, preferably early in the morning or late in the evening, removal of all unwanted weeds from the garden, careful monitoring and control of pests and disease problems, pruning off excess shoots, disease, dried or dying leaves and branches, providing a mulch, staking or trellising, and supplying a boost of nutrients where necessary. With a combination of these practices done to specification, you are well on your way to enjoying all that you expect from your garden. Check our Facebook page for tips from previous tutorials. Until next time, I am Vernet James, thanking you for staying tuned.